around the area. Joining us now live on the phone is Shirley Franzoni. The surveillance video we've been showing is from your store, Shirley. My goodness, are you okay? Yeah, we are. We're just fine. Thank you. What was that like? It was really scary. I was more concerned about the employees that were getting ready to leave upstairs. I was sitting in a meeting. I heard the explosion and, and felt the walls shake a little bit, and we took off running to make sure the upstairs employees were fine. Surely the local paper is suggesting maybe a gas leak. Did you smell anything? Um, at certain times after the explosion, we did, but not before, no. Has anybody given you any indication that it might have been some sort of gas leak explosion? Um, I was I was told yes that it was a gas ex, a natural gas explosion. I don't know what happened, obviously, but um, that's what we have been told. Give us an idea of what the rest of that area uh, looks like right now. It's devastational. Um, most all of the downtown uh, merchants, including myself, has lost a lot. Pretty much all of our windows downtown. Oh. Uh, they're not letting us too close to the area, obviously, for safety reasons, but a lot of the stores downtown, they have no windows. We're lucky that one of my stores got boarded up. We had a lot of local people come in and, and lend a hand and help us out, but the other one, we're, we're not allowed to go there yet. Shirley, do you know if there's any work being done nearby that might have helped trigger this thing? Well, I, I believe there was, but again, it's just, you know, hearsay. I would hate to say anything and, and be wrong on this, but I did hear that there was some digging going on that might have triggered it. All right, Shirley, thank you so much, and good luck to you guys.